Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. So let's chat a little first. So we are... I feel like with... It's probably the end of the game. I mean, we have to go through, let's think, Severe. You know, we have to deal with the Vengal. But aside from that, like, I'm not really sure how much more is left in the game. Right? Like, that's like the last major plot point. So I'm not really sure what else will be done. So I could be mistaken. Maybe there's some other plot point that'll come up. So for me, it feels like we're towards the end of the game. Like, usually there's like some kind of interfering factor. So maybe once we're done with the four, you know, maybe we'll unlock like uh, their stronghold we have to beat, you know, aside from their ship. But honestly, from a plot point, at least, I don't see what is next. But who knows? Maybe, maybe there's more to the game. I've never beaten the game before. But from the way it feels, it feels like we're near the end. Expects a never-ending chapter three. I, I mean, who knows? Maybe. Maybe it'll be like, gotcha, you really need to do this after the lifting verse. You know, and we spend like the next two sessions doing whatever that is instead of just beating the game. But anyway, I think we're uh, good to go. So we'll get started in just a second. Although, I'm looking at the soundtrack length, and I'm like... There's two hours and 20 minutes of soundtrack. There there has to be more to the game or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I, you know... It, it, something doesn't quite add up. There must be something more to the game that we haven't seen yet. But who knows? I'll leave the stream title as is, because... It, at least from my understanding, we should be done with the lifting verse stuff very soon. But who knows, maybe there's something after that. But welcome again, Chaos Vinny and Chris. Massive rambling detour, maybe. As I said before, like, that soundtrack looked really long. And I feel like, you know, where it, it, it feels like an okay length like, game so far. If it were to end in the next three hours, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. But at the same time, I don't know. The meta knowledge of that soundtrack length makes me question things. We also are only about halfway through the weapons, but that doesn't necessarily mean too much. Because we know that there's like optional stuff we could have gotten, like the spirit cards and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I mean, I think by today we'll probably end up in one of these two weapon slots and probably by the next session we'll be at the end of the game. But I mean, that's that's how I kind of view it. We're averaging about like one or two of these a session. And as I said before, the final stuff might either be plot related or related to the spirit cards we haven't been collecting. Because presumably they're the black scepter force items that we just haven't seen. Do you know what I mean? Like, it could be any of those. Desbed Pirate says, we were going to play cards before our arrival at Saphir, but my partner's late. Is he sleeping here? I guess that's the joke. Can I rob him? Damn. Not sure why I can't go into some of these doors. Better relax while we can. Okay. 
Can't do anything else with Laramie. Whoa, watch out! Ship needs some serious repairs! <laughs> Eon, you seem restless. Why don't you rest in your room for a while? Okay, I mean, I guess we'll go there in a moment. Welcome in Parameter, hope you're doing well. It's so peaceful, almost too quiet. It's a long trip to Saphir. You should go to your room and rest. Oh, I can touch the wheel for some reason. There we go, screw up the navigation. Eon, don't mess with the rudder. Touch it again. Yeah. <laughs> right, chat? Yes. And then they never fix it. <laughs> you heard it, chat. If we somehow crash or run into something, it's now because we did that. Oh. Wait, did I have to mess with the rudder? Why did we get a cutscene here? Eon, Arcia, are you here? Wow, somebody cleaned up my room. I hope you don't mind. That was very nice of you. Where's Eon? He went to check on... Oh, he went to check the control room. I see. It'll be a few more hours before we, re we reach Zephyr. You should both rest a bit. I'll tell him. I'll call you before we land. Excuse me, Gandor. Yes? If you don't mind telling me, what is that tattoo on your forehead? It's not a tattoo. It's some kind of birthmark. That's all I know. Why do you want to know? Well, when I first saw you for the first time, it looked familiar. That's strange. I had the feeling that I met both you and Eon before. Oh no. Are, are we talking about the reincarnation thing? Are we linking it finally to Soul Blazer a bit more closely? Maybe in a previous life. Mm-hmm. I wonder. I have to get back to the controls. <laughs> we can't see the tattoo on the mannequin. That's true. Um... Gee, I really don't remember where our door was. I hope this was it. Oh, that was a good guess. I really didn't remember. <laughs> I was like, I was trying to go backwards. What door did I not enter? <laughs> okay, there we go. We'll be arriving in Saphir fairly soon. You have no choice but to fight the Imperial Wizardry. I wish we could avoid violence. We've almost reached Saphir. Gandor needs me in the cockpit. Join me in the cockpit later, all right? Eon, we should go too. Wait, they just told us to rest. <laughs> Which is it? Do you need us in the cockpit or do you need us to rest? Th those are pretty mutually exclusive things. I'm just saying, chat. It's true. We're gonna ask if he's ever been a goat dog squirrel. So I might have missed an opportunity to investigate this chest before. I thought I tried all the doors, but it's possible I didn't check this side. Like, after I got the treasure, I might not have checked specifically that door. That's a shame. Oh well, not much I could do about it now. I'm not gonna go restart the game for that. Uh oh, chat, we're getting anime cutscene. That water spout came out of nowhere. Ah. Ah. It's the banjo from behind the water spout. Banjo's 
firepower and a sitting duck. I've got to find some way for us to disappear. Give me maximum thrust from all engines on the double. We're going invisible. We're taking evasive maneuvers behind the thundercloud, sir. Let them hide. Their feeble attempts to thwart me are useless. Oh no, our feeble attempts are useless, chat. Now loading, dot dot dot. We gotta go invisible, chat. Things are going well. I mean, I guess if we crashed before the Zephyr, that would add a lot to the game time if we had to get another airship somehow. The Vangle broke off its attack. We've taken heavy damage. We were hit head on. Jill and Lang are taking care of the repairs. The Goot doesn't have enough firepower. Wait, what happened to the we had reinforced shields and enhanced weapons? I'm not hallucinating this. He definitely said this, chat. He definitely said this before we left last session. Way to lie to us, Gandor. Gandor, their tactics seem familiar. Could Sleazer be behind this? I don't understand. Isn't he your brother? Don't worry. My brother has no intention of joining the Imperial Wizardry. He just wants to prevent them from getting too powerful. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure that really adds up so far what's been happening in the story. Like him crushing him crushing the gems, yes. But why would he still be there? Do you know what I mean, chat? Like his his master plan should have ended when he first did the whole no one deserves the heirloom thing. I, I don't think what she says makes sense in context of the rest of the game. But confronting him won't resolve our differences. Laramie, I can't let you stay with us. What? It's too dangerous. We need to take shelter in Erlen. Then what? Don't risk your life. <laughs> Why is he giving that face? You're the only one who can find out the captain's true intentions. Maybe we could board the Vangle through Erlem. It's too dangerous on your own. I'll go with you. I remember the way to the bridge. Don't be foolish. You have to save the continents. Let me go on the Vangle and wait for me in Erlem. Without each other's help, we wouldn't have made it this far. We can't go to Severe without you. We, we definitely could, chat. I'm good. I'll be real with you. We definitely could. I agree. We have to stick together. I do too, but I think all of you should just be in the ship. <laughs> all right. Eon, you watch over Arcea. Don't worry about me. Agreed. Be careful. You too, Gandor. To Erlim. How are they planning to go to Erlim exactly? I never really followed how he got onto the ship. Did Chad ever follow how they actually got onto the ship itself? Like in between cutscenes? Like I know for example, you know, when we walk out of the dungeons, you know, Erlim happens to be there, but do we, does it, do, I just assumed it kind of landed and then we boarded it, but like, how are we boarding it mid-flight? Are we just like jumping out? <laughs> Skateboard wizard? It, you know what, that's it. We're, we're just skateboarding in the sky. It's true. Checks out. Why did we stop firing? We could have used the torpedo. Fools. Your heavy artillery is useless in this kind of situation. It takes too long to reload. But this ship is too slow to outmaneuver the good. Our best chance lies in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Let them board and we'll wipe them out. Everybody man their battle stations.
This is the control room. Battle stations, be prepared for enemy infiltration. Power supply area is secured. I was gonna say, we board the heirloom and then we take our beds with us. <laughs> We're like, ha, ah, we'll do both. Heirloom, take us forward to the Vangel. As you wish. But where are we going to get on board? How about the prison cell? Yeah, they would never suspect anyone to invade the cells. <laughs> I'm just telling you, chat. There's just, there's just something about it that they're like, we're going to immediately go into the jail cell. I, I just keep thinking Sweekin and Four all over again. I don't think anyone will be around there either. That's perfect. Let's go. Laramie, what's wrong? It just seems as though there is a trap. The Vengo is allowing the good to dock. If I know Gandor, there's going to be trouble. We better hurry. They may need our help. All right, let's go, Erlim. As you wish. One minute to target. We have to get close enough to dock with them. Keep firing. We're being pulled in by their magnetic shield. Oh, the vibrations, Chad. Oh no, they're getting sucked in. Bengal Prison. Nobody's here. This feels suspicious. Maybe it's a trap. We better get out of here. Calm down, Laramie. Let's make a plan. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit late for that. You're making a plan after you're already in? Um, I don't think that's how plans work. Arcia, you wait here and I'll come back for you in a minute. I'll distract the soldiers. Laramie? Oh. Oh, it was Eon saying this. Oops. I thought it was... Oops. I thought it was Laramie saying this. Laramie, you help Gandor. All right. I'll meet you at the docking bay. Don't let your guard down. Laramie, please be careful, she shouts loudly, try drawing attention to herself. Eon, remember that officers use ID cards to open the doors. Oh, now we're going for full Metal Gear Solid. Nice. Thanks, great detective work. Oh my gosh, I forgot Corky was with us for a moment. Yeah, now we better try to hold, get a hold of one. Watch out for those soldiers. Hmm. So we're back at the starting area. But this is where Arcea was before. Or no, this is where the guard was that held Arcea's key. It has been a little while since we've been here, so I expect to still get lost a little bit. I mean, do I have to kill them for the key? I'm just thinking about it. Or is it going to be... It's probably not going to be him. See, that's the tricky part. I don't know which of these characters has the key. So I guess we, I guess we just got to start swinging and murdering. Okay, our damage is pretty good. I don't necessarily... Oh, the lunge got me. Ooh. 
He got me a little there, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa! Oh, he's got healing magic? Seriously? Wow, okay, this sucks. I... I don't like how fast he is with the dual sword. At least he has, like, an obvious punish after this. But man, that's kind of rough. He does a lot of damage. Just attain gems, that sucks. Oh, well, we have a lot of healing items and MP, so we should be mostly fine. Oh, cutscenes. Hmm. The captain ordered us to get prepared. Are we going to engage in combat? Yes, the pi some pirates have boarded the ship. We secured the elevator. If the engine room is breached, the locks won't open. The Mingle security system is able to handle all kinds of emergency situations. Oh, oops. That was the bad time to check something. Oh, did I get stuck? I think I did. That was weird. Oh well, we're good now. Gotta be careful there, that was my bad. Uh, at least dodging to the side seems somewhat viable in this fight. Oh, or we'll just not re- Or we'll just not refocus properly, that's fine. Oh, come on! Lingering sword hitbox, please, I need you. Oh, backdashing wasn't fast enough. That sucks. Stop that. Hmm. Alright, so I really need to side dodge, but some of them are kind of awkward. Okay, we attained level 2 ID card. One second, chat. Sorry about that. Alright, well, at least we got an ID card. Hmm. There's a door up here. I'm assuming this just leads back to where we were before. I'm just double checking. Yeah, and then we could get stairs there. See what's this way. All right, so we had three ways to enter this room, so that's promising. No other side areas in between. Oh, did oh oh I must got by him. Damn. Okay, interrupted his spell. guys at least mostly know how to handle I don't find them as annoying as the swordsman now that I know how to do the run yeah like those guys are not bad they, I mean they could be bad for us but I understand their dodge pattern a little better oh, gems is not what I want oh what the that sucks I didn't see him yeah this guy I gotta learn what his new pattern is like, see how aggressively fast he is? I can't punish his moves. That I can punish, though. I mean, if he wants to do the little lunge, I'm at least ready for how to dodge it. But see what I mean there? Like, I got punished for hitting him there. Like, that really sucked. So he could do a lot of damage to me very quickly. In fact, I'm almost dead. 
Like, once he does the multi-attack, then if I could get him in the same pattern, he's easy, right? Because then I know how to punish. But when he just throws that out randomly, that does not feel good, for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and use a f random heal. And then a couple of dried herbs. I'm going to save my MP for now, in case I find it easier to uh, spam uh, magic later. Plus, as I said before, we have a lot of healing items. Hey, Eon, let's check each level very cautiously. All right, first let's check out the main passageway. Okay. So I'm mostly just looking to see if we could find new weapons, but we probably won't get any until we go to like a distinctly new area. Lang, we better get out of here. We just need a few minutes. Don't waste time fighting these soldiers. Go to the engine room. Yeah, because their their quick jabs way outspeed me. I don't even think dagger outspeeds their quick jab. I, I wish our weapons were that fast for sure. Yeah, where's our like seven hit strike, right, chat? None of this lame, like huge delay triple hit BS. This way. Why are they running like that? That's too funny. They can take care of this level. Let's go downstairs. What's on the third level? Oh, okay. Well, I <laughs> just let them to their own devices. The pirates are headed for the engine room and the bridge. It's just as Slazer predicted. It's uncanny how he's able to predict their movements. It is. I can't bring myself to trust him. But his mind is being controlled by our leader. I wonder if we have full control over him. This could be a trap. Have Slazer sent to me. Yes, sir. I don't think I could have gotten by him. This might be mandatory. Like, see what I mean there? Like, I went to punish him and he just leaped backwards. Like, that's the kind of stuff I'm worried about. Once he's in the corner, he's way less scary. Because then he can't backwards leap and punish me. I think that forces him to do that multi-strike. Maybe that's how that works. If he can't back up, he just does the multi-strike. Oh, that was... Okay, that, that was actually unfair. I felt like he input read me so hard there. Holy. We traded blows. Unfortunate. Dry dirt attained. Okay. So that went neutral in healing. I'm okay with that. Okay, there's a chest here. Please don't be a mimic. Gems. Oh, I don't want gems. Um... Oh, I almost made it through the door. That was unfortunate. Oops. Oh. I was not expecting that attack. He hadn't done that in so long. Does he have new spells? Huh. That's kind of annoying. Please stop blocking. I'm backing up quite far. Game, please. Why, why is he suddenly auto-blocking everything from max distance? That's not normal. Like, that's fine. I was a bit close. Oh, I didn't hit him out of the spell. That sucked. There we go. Maybe it's due to, like... I don't know why he's behaving a bit differently, to be honest with you. Like, now, now he's starting to go into the right pattern, where he just spams lightning. 
I'm not sure where that big fire explosion came from, for example. A bit weird. Um, I guess we'll fight him in case he has a key. <laughs> Ooh, the whiff. I keep thinking he's doing single jab and then he does the rapid stab. It's not hard, it's just sometimes when you mix it up, you get punished hard. Unfortunately, he didn't have a key. Uh... Wish to challenge me? I'll destroy you! Oh, that feeling where he doesn't track is the worst. Him not tracking is the worst, chat, I'm not gonna lie. Like there! Why didn't I turn to face him after he sidestepped? Game, please. Oh, I, I actually got stuck on the control panel. I got really lucky I didn't get hit there. I got really lucky. Ooh, that's an awful fighting area. Can we not fight near the chairs? <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna hold healing for a little bit. Something I want to do after this. I broke his guard a little bit there. I'm gonna back up in case he's gonna rapid stab. So I don't really want to get that right now. There we go. A single strike. Hopefully this is an ID key. That's why I fought him. Obtained level one ID key. Okay. What's in here? Don't be a mimic. It's a full heal. I'll take it. I think that is... I mean, pretty much. <laughs> so we'll take that, that's fine. So we've gone mostly healing neutral. I think I'm just down one healing item so far. And that's not bad, given that we just cleared another dungeon level. Uh. Okay, so we killed that guy. Hmm. Guess up to the main passageway, because that'd be ID floor number one, maybe? Hmm. Okay, can't interact with the crates. Please don't be, please don't be a mimic. It's every time, chat. Dry nerve is fine. Okay, so now we've gone basically healing neutral now. The other one healed about two dried herbs worth. We're like a dried herb down. Oh, there is no way. There is no way both of these are real chests. This one seems the most suspicious of being mimic. I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, we got gems out of it. When I look at them, they're slightly different colors. There's no... Chat, there is no way this is not a Mimic. The question is, do we want to fight the Mimic? <laughs> I don't think we do. Unless, unless I have, like, my other dagger equipped. Guess I could fight the Mimic with the dagger. At least it, there was like an obvious visual cue. So as long as I guard here, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, wait, this thing is really tanky. Oh, I was not expecting four life bars. That could be a problem for us then. <clears throat> I mean, I know I could do like the semi-infinite, but that is a lot of health. I'm going in, chat. <laughs> Man, dagger is so good.
I think we could say that for the most part, the Mimic has been solved as an encounter. The only downside is when he decides to arbitrarily block. I don't think there's any pattern or reason as to why he blocks. Just, it just happens. Could you, could you stop blocking, please? <sighs> this, uh, this is what I was worried about. <laughs> him just kind of trolling and stalling in the corner. Like, we already know how to beat him. Just, just die for us, please. There we go, nice and steady. I'm hoping that the dagger draws a rare item out of him. I'm not I'm not expecting him to get the perfect health victory. We already failed that, so I'm not worried about that. I just specifically want to see if this gives like an MP restore. Because last time we got like a high potion from one of these, and that was on a lower rank mimic. So I'm hoping by killing him with the dagger, we end up getting the better item. So if we don't get an item, it wasn't worth it. Let's see. So I killed him with the special dagger. Do we get it? No. Okay, not worth. We only took a little bit of damage there, so that's fine. Like, we, we didn't even lose an LP. Like, that was completely fine. It was just annoying that it dropped nothing. Uh, check the crate. Check the other crate. Yeah, unfortunate. I, I think it was worth going for from the standpoint that a, a full... How do you reach that area? Wait, how do you reach that area? Huh? Am I missing something? Uh. Well, oh, there's like a staircase that gets here? Hmm. Do I have to go on a different floor for this? Hmm. We're gonna have to remember this, chap. There's some kind of staircase. Maybe on floor two, I had to go up at some point. Uh, I really wish there was a save point here. Because I would like to go back and check. All right, I'll try to remember that there's a chest in there we don't have, and it's on the first floor. I think for now, we should at least get what we need here. Because we're going to reset the enemies if I leave. So I might as well just check what's in the next room. And then if nothing's there, then we go try to get to that crawl space. Oh. Can't do anything here. Hmm. Nothing here. What's the... Oh, you know what? There's always like a... I never went downward before. Never mind. Might be down here. We have to go. Uh, anything in the crate? Nope. Nope. Check the other side. So far, crates not panning out. They don't have anything, even dialogue with associated with them. Disappointing. There's some kind of lift. Let's not let's not take the lift yet. Oh. Power engine room. Okay. I mean, you seem important. I should probably kill you. How ominous. Don't waste your time threatening me. If I don't fix this, the engine's gonna explode and take us all with it. Wait, what? <laughs> Why is it going to explode? Oh, there are so many guards here. What is going on? Um, do we kill you because you're stationary? I did not mean to do the third swing. <sighs> I got the vertical slice. I don't want that one. Ooh. Knock me down. So dashing into him does seem rather effective if I could get it time well. The problem is that this area is super awkward to fight in. A chat could see. Like, everything's kind of narrow. So dodging is a bit awkward. Oh, he punished... He punished me mid-combo? That's kind of unfair. Wow. Why are our movesets that quick? Right, chat? 
I'm not even using the slow weapon. We got a fresh herb from that. I guess it was kind of worth it. Okay, there's no way this is a mimic. It's too awkward to get to. Ooh, high potion attained. So now we have a lot of feature MPs. And so now we're definitely up on the healing items. And I haven't lost that much health, so that's probably fine. Hmm. Um, what about what do you, what do you have to say? Person I almost didn't see. He says I made my choice. <clears throat> Don't worry. I would never attack anybody who didn't want to fight. Please help me destroy the torpedo. There's an emergency control panel on the torpedo's engine. You have to insert the ID card and turn on the power switch. Doing that will cause a chain reaction. You have to escape before it explodes. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? I can't leave my ship. But you'll die! I put my life into this ship. I won't abandon it. Oh, I guess he'll die, chat. There's a message on the console screen. Insert level 2 ID card. Sure. <clears throat> you insert the ID card. You can't remove the ID card. The scepter begins to glow. Scepter memorizes level 2 ID card. Insert ID card in the opposite terminal. Well, we did get a uh, level 1 earlier, so I guess we found out what they're used for. I thought it was used for the elevator automatically. But whatever. So I'll insert the level 1. You can't remove the ID card. We copied level 1 ID card. Hmm. Well, this just became ominous. Well, I see it. Oh, that was so rude. I almost made it out of there. That was rude. Why don't you wiggle at me? <laughs> wiggle in the depths of hell, Roper. Get out of here. Tired of you. Why are you back in this dungeon? You made sense in the other place. I don't think you make sense here. Okay, I delayed my strike slightly to try to time it. Didn't time it well there. Timed it well there. Time almost timed it well there. Oh my gosh, game please. What is this? <laughs> Alright, we killed one life point of it. There we go. Yeah. I mean, this enemy is definitely the easiest enemy on the ship. It's just like, why is it here? We killed Blob, apparently. The wiggle of invulnerability is definitely real. What are you? Source of power attained? What is that? Is that LP? Okay, extra LP. Oh, the ambush on the way out. That is so rude. That is so rude. Man. That is, that is just maximum. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting clowned on by Roper equivalency or Blob, apparently. Stop this. Become vulnerable so I can fight you. Damn you, Quintet. Why did you make this? Oh, I tried timing the hit to kill his last little health bar. There we go. Time to better that time. Okay, punish down. Okay. My <laughs> troll design at its finest. This enemy does feel like a big troll. Like, honestly. Alright, nothing here. So I got extra LP, which is good. So that makes our healing items even stronger for the full heal. Um, damn. I forgot where we needed to go. Um, left. Nope. Right. <sighs> Multiple paths. Was there anything up here? No. Uh, a 
Okay, I see a chest up there, so that means we're probably gonna get attacked by Blob. We, we got literally our white crystal back, so that's good. Is there anything? It looks like there's a... Oh, you oh, blobbed. Blobbed. Boy, I let go of guard too soon. That was player, player skill error, not game fault. This is so messed up. I hate this enemy so much. It's not hard. It's just there's just sometimes if it decides not to attack like that, I just don't get to hit it. I guess I could be very aggressive and choose not to block at all to try to speed it up. But it comes with its own risks. We don't seem to get many items, if any, from them. All right, so this doesn't seem to be leading anywhere. Oh, maybe that's if we came in through the left side. Okay, so if we came in through the left side, we're not going to go back there. Um, we would have to go here. See the chest to the left. I'm ready to get blobbed. Yep. Everybody everybody in their hearts knew I was about to get blobbed to go into that chest. There's no way. It's going to let me go take that. There's no way. <sighs> the troll. Wiggle, 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 chat. Ooh, I got greedy on that. I got greedy. Lava is just not worth fighting. It drops nothing. Oh, Mimic, really? I guess it was brighter color. I should have been paying attention, I guess. Wow, we do no damage to this thing. Holy, holy, that does no damage. Okay, we're going back to Holy Knife. Screw this. Oh, we would have been here for an eternity if I used sword chat. Did you see how little damage that was? I like that the sword allegedly did double damage and the dagger is doing like literally more damage for combo than the sword was. Like, that's so sad. Oh, he clipped me. What a jerk. Whatever. No, even if he gets me a healing item, this is now not worth it. Game, please. Uh, if we had a spell to banish this enemy, that would have been great. Like, does the game really think I'm gonna buy, like, a million panther eyes? Like, what was their thought process with the mimics? I'm just really curious. Like, they have an item to basically detect them, but it's, like, only one-time use? We haven't gotten a spell so far, unless I'm forgetting something that analyzes them or does anything similar. Which would be, like, the only reason I think they would be somewhat tolerable. But even then, it's probably going to make it cost like 100 MP or some BS. So it's like basically unusable. No in Quintet. They couldn't make it just cost like 5 MP or something convenient. Oh! Oh, did... Did... <laughs> did you did you see that glitched out uh, collision box? Did you like how I just phased through them like that? 10 out of 10 there, Quintet. Nice, uh... Nice interaction there. I'm definitely going to go uh, clip that later. That was ridiculous. I just went through the enemy. <laughs> Wasn't even moving, essentially. <laughs> just went through me. <laughs> Neither of us hit each other. That was awkward. Oh, Quintet. We're just having our little mimic dance battle. Well, I guess this is one way to extend the gameplay left. Just fight like a million mimics that take forever to kill. And the sad part is like, you know I can't really do that much more damage unless I really use the strength spell every battle. 
I don't have like stronger equipment. We're using best possible that I found. I haven't skipped anything to my knowledge. So hopefully when we go up that other ladder, we're going to get some kind of armor or item. But we'll see. Game, please. If only that guard broke. The game would be so much better if that guard broke, chat. 300 gems. Okay, that was actually somewhat worth it then. Because that's basically two healing items. You have to think about it in the future. Or, or a, like 200... No, or like a 400 MP heal. I wonder if this will take me to the chest I saw earlier. Oh, this is another mimic. Seriously? Man... You can tell because it's brighter. Uh, why is there another mimic here? I think the other crate looks like a different color, so I have to fight this if I want what that crate is. Like, see how it's not quite the same color as the others? So disappointing. Yeah, thanks, Quintet. I love mandatory stall battles between me and the potentially required items, depending on what this is. This better be a good item that's in that crate, by the way. It better not be, like, dried herb, or I'm actually gonna get mad. I mean, chat and see. Like, I, I know what the pattern is with the Mimic. These aren't hard. It's just more... It's just more stalling. <laughs> the, if if you could have broken guard, I would have been A-OK -okay with this pattern. But the fact that we have nothing that breaks the guard means that we're just literally having like several seconds of staring contest every battle. It's kind of dumb. So they were so close, chat. If our special moves actually worked as intended, that would have been amazing. Imagine if I did the three hit swing into like the double strike uppercut. It would have been kind of cool to do almost like fighting game inputs in the battle. To try to exploit them potentially versus bosses and stuff like that. That would have been kind of fun to experiment with. But I really have no reason to use any specials in this game because they're just way too slow. The only one that's okay is the dagger uppercut because that is the least delay. Really? <laughs> he rolled backwards in the guard? What a troll. What an absolute troll. I'm not sure what decides when he guards. I'm assuming it's RNG. I don't think there's anything I'm inputting differently. Like, all I'm doing is mashing X without any rhythm. Like, his combo is smooth. My button presses are not. Alright, well, if, if you drop me a healing item, I'll forgive you. Or 300 gems. I'll take 300 gems as well. That's fine. That'll be future money. Or in case we need to purchase another optional item, it would be nice. Let's all roll our eyes. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on. You know what has you know what's true so far of all the enemies we fought on the ship? Not a single one has given us MP back, if you've noticed. Okay, another 300 gems. That might be worth it. Found a piece of metal. Scepter mem memorizes the metal. Okay. Wisdom cloth attained. And that is presumably an armor. Magical armor with sacred power is good for avoiding enemy attacks. Why do I feel like this is not good? Why? Why would I select the Wisdom Cloak? It's got way less defense. Am I hallucinating? Like, why would I want that? Um... You know what? I'm gonna reduce our damage by one, just so I have more defense. I don't know if the one damage matters. I'd rather just be tanky at this point, chat, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if it means we have enhanced dodge or something, but either way, I don't think... If it messes with my evade, I think I would actually not like that because I'm already used to this. It's the torpedo! Eon, that's what they fired into the volcano! Hurry up, let's destroy this thing! Okay. Up we go, I guess. Huh? This must be the emergency control panel for the torpedo. It looks like it. Here's the software and ID card. We need to insert a card to access the control panel. Get the scepter to make a copy of the ID card. Scepter starts to glow. Scepter reproduces the ID card. We insert the ID card into the console. Now turn on the power switch. You turn on the power switch. Okay. Captain, the crew is starting to mutiny. Cowards, they can't handle this type of situation. I knew I should have chosen a better crew. Ensign says, Captain, the torpedo's malfunctioning. Whatever you say, Ensign. What? How is that possible? Start evacuation immediately. <laughs> well, he changes tune real quick. What about you, sir? As the captain, it's my duty to stay behind. Now go! Yes, sir. Either Gandor is getting smarter or the boy is helping him. There you go, Chant. Do we need to all know the secrets of this world? Power can be only oh excuse me, power can only be attained by force and leads to nothing but destruction. Perhaps it is not too late, but first I must get rid of these soldiers. Okay. I guess he's going full traitor on them. Look, Eon, it says switch to emergency power supply. We did it! Let's find Arcia and Laramie. Let's go get Arcia first. We better hurry. Hi, right, chat. Chat, there is there is a literally 0% chance she is still where we left her. I don't believe it, chat. There is no way she hasn't been kidnapped, run off, etc. There's no way she's back in her room. I don't believe it. Oh, there's another ladder here. Oops, what was here? Angle passageway. Uh. Wait, something jumped out of the crate. What? Oh, oh what? Now's not the time. No. What a rude fight. I'm sure she's fine. I know. Stupid Roper. Go back to Tales of Destiny. Better block that. I'm out of sync. Now I'm in sync.
Okay, I think I'm starting to understand when he's vulnerable a little better. To try to, to try to bait him to not dodge. That was the whole purpose of the room. Quintet, please. It wasn't even an item. It's just a roper. <laughs> Stupid. Surprise! Yeah, thanks, game. <laughs> what a waste of time. Oh god. Why is this bad? I'm not fighting that again. Can you imagine repeating mimics, chat? Could you imagine? I'm not that dumb. I'm not refighting those. Alright, let's go this way. I mean, it's good to know the mimics respawn in case you want to farm them. I don't. You know, this is a very quiet, vibrating ship emergency thing going on. I'm just saying, chat. We never did anything with the power lift. Oh, oops. Well, now I did. Oops. <laughs> Was I supposed to explore here before I did that? I guess we can look. I mean, this is where we were at the beginning of the game, so it's not likely we'll find much. Vibrate, vibrate, vibrate. I mean, I guess I'll double check I didn't miss any chests. Because there was the chest at the beginning of the game. That's on the door to the right here. Still open. Oh well. go to the second floor. I think that's where we started. <laughs> okay. At least nobody seems here. Gee, I wonder if Arcea will be in here. Oh no, Arcia, where did she go? <laughs> Alright, chat. You know, we really need to start getting like a tracking device for our important characters. We keep losing them. Is this note for me? Dear Eon, I'm dumb and got myself captured. Oh, wait, hold on. Eon, Gander told me that it was too dangerous to stay here, so I went with them. I'll meet up with you again later. Hmm. She should be safe if Gandor is watching over her. Uh-oh. You gonna kill Gandor game? And I wonder where Laramie is gone. This is the control room. Unlock the first level and evacuate the ship immediately. Now we can check out the first level. There we go. Maybe we'll find Laramie there. All right, let's go. This is the most calm emergency, Chad, I swear. Is it the main passageway? Is that floor one? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just remembered. I made a mistake. There's another elevator we haven't tried. Maybe it needs us to go to that one. Damn. Yeah, let's go back up. I forgot, it, it, I forgot that both elevators just don't go to the same place, because, you know, reasons. Well, at least hopefully we'll avoid the Wiggly Nightmare for now. There we go. Progress is being made. So this ended up being a much bigger dungeon than I thought. So yeah, it'll probably be a couple more sessions then. I don't think we'll beat it by next session. What are you? Are you a mimic? It's hard to tell with the red light, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it was hard to tell.
Oh well. <laughs> we're here now, chat. We're, we're, we're going in for the long haul. On the plus side, if we do need any gems for any bonus stuff, we did get like almost probably about 800 gems in this dungeon so far, maybe a little more. We got two sets of 300 and I think we got one other big deposit of gems. A couple small 30s here and there. Oh, we traded blows, that's not what I wanted. Oh, does that force him to open up guard? Interesting. Maybe I'll try that more often if he starts doing that nonsense. Huh. Okay, so we do kind of have a... It's not a guard break per se. But, okay. Maybe we can start getting in stupid... Because I was just thinking, like, is there some way for us to not have a stupid staring contest? So I guess if the AI is in, like, permablock mode, I can deal with it. If they're only briefly guarding, there's nothing I could do about it. Look at that, chat. We're evolving our gameplay by getting unintentional battles. Yeah, that seems to break guard. Okay, so we... I will make a small correction. We have something that potentially opens them up. As long as they don't have an attack faster than us, we can punish. But we don't have something that guard breaks into a combo. Life element attained. What is life element? Is it like a full revive? What is it? Greatly increases MP and LP. Oh. Do we have... Wow, we have so many... Oh, wow. We have so many different healing items. Well, until the game actually forces me to heal, I'm not gonna bother. You look like a real chest. Got a gold piece. Okay. So that's a lot of potential money. Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to fight soldiers, so let's just do this. I'd prefer not to heal. If we do have to heal, I'll use a dried herb, because it feels like we're about to leave this area. I think chat would agree. Oh, there's a chest there. Why are you wasting your time attacking me? The Vengal is doomed. We're all going to die anyway. I don't have to listen to you. You're not the captain anymore. Your selfish tactics caused the loss of our comrades' lives. You were reckless. Is he reckless? He kind of told you what was going to happen. Now it's time for you to pay for what you've done. You dare to call yourself soldiers? So much self-pity. These losses are trivial. In this world, we are merely pawns. The winners and losers have already been decided. So stop whining and accept your fate. We joined the Imperial Army with hopes of surviving a little longer. We thought we would be safe aboard the Vengal while the lands met their demise. But now those hopes are lost. You've destroyed everything. So now we have our revenge by destroying you. How pathetic. Your fear of death has caused you to look only at yourselves. And if anything good or evil threatens your lives, you face it with anger and hate. Quit your babbling and fight like a man. It would be a shame to soil my sword with your blood. But it sounds to me like you should join your friends. One swing knocks them both backwards. Hey you, what are you doing here? Are you part of the Despots? No, I'm... I'll cut you to pieces along with Slazer. Uh... Oh, I forgot. You can't dodge that by going backwards. 
I did react. I just reacted with the wrong input. <laughs> That's okay. He's almost dead anyway. GG. Angry violets are always the solution, says Calvisha. Oh, treasure chest. What are you? Another life element? So we got two super heals. Well, chat, remember how I said we were about healing item neutral? We're no longer healing item neutral in the slightest sense, so can't carry anymore. Oh, we can only have one. Hold on, was it life stone or life element? Just want to make sure I'm not misreading. Element, okay. So we might as well use it because I'm injured and LP is good. So, sure. 700 MP, what's our cap? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, well, I think we're good chat for the rest of the game. I don't know about you chat, I I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> it's kind of a, kind of a little strong. Oh, wow. Okay, just almost, almost literally more than triple our MP. We only need 40 to heal or yeah, we need 40 to heal as a reminder. So I have like near infinite healing at this point. And we have another one of those. On top of having a weaker version, on top of having all these other potions. Wow, okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, you're dead. He's dead, but where is Slazer? And Laramie? <laughs> hmm. I could refight the Mimic if I want to. Which apparently could just randomly give us life element, which is crazy if you think about it. It's almost worth fighting those to get another life element because of how broken that is. Uh, where does the game want me to go is the question. Okay, I can't do anything here. I could go back down a floor. Guess we could try. You'd be so proud, Calvisham. We were doing our best Metal Gear Solid impression. We, we got ID cards and everything, Calvisham. Although I got rid of them for now. Yeah, gotta use the ID cards. Um, where do we go? Do you want me to go back to the main passage to the power lift thing that I was at before? Is that where you want me to go? Because I'm assuming we have to go back to the dramatic escape area, but nothing was there before. Oh, okay, now something's here. Eon, it's one of the despots. Hey, are you all right? I like to picture, I like to picture he just has like this huge gaping hole in him. It's no use, he's not breathing. <laughs> I mean, well, I, I guess I wasn't that far off then. It's no use. You're a voice through the door. It sounds like Laramie. Slazer, I finally found you. You have some explaining to do, brother. Why did you join the Imperial Army and help them fight the despots? I don't understand. What has happened to you? I thought I'd never see you again. Laramie, I was trying to save us. I thought that I could deceive the Imperial Army. I'm going to try to destroy their fortress with the Vangal. As for the continents, I thought that nature would repair what has gone wrong. I thought we shouldn't interfere with nature by using magic or the wise man's inventions. But that red-haired boy has made me doubt myself. Are you talking about Eon? What about him? Eon, yes. I think he may have better answers than I. Perhaps the damage that has already been done is too great for nature to mend. I just hope we could do something to save what little we have left. Slazer, where are you going? Laramie, I know I've never been a very good brother. <laughs> Understatement. I guess you technically saved her once in this playthrough, I guess. And this, I put you in such a dangerous position with my foolish strategy. I'm sorry about not letting you know what I was doing. 
Now I'm going to destroy the barrier which guards the continent of Saphir. Tell Leon to use this power to save the human race. Slazer, wait! Don't leave me again! Soon the Vangle will be destroyed. Get out with the others! Goodbye, Laramie! Slazer, open the door! Slazer! What a foolish fool indeed. Anyway. Oops. Is that this door? Eon. No. No, nothing. Let's go. Ender is waiting on the deck. Aeon, Laramie, are you two all right? We're fine. How about the two of you? We're all right, thanks to Gandor. But the other pirates... Did any of the despots survive? I see. Even poor Jeel didn't make it. Oh wow, they killed Jeel? Wow, chat, they actually killed several named characters? Soon the engine will self-destruct. The goon's left wing was badly damaged when we docked with the Vangel. Eon, please take everyone to safety aboard Erlin. I'm... No! What about my brother? And you? Please come with us, and we'll go to Zephyr. I don't want you to be upset, but I can't help you anymore. Andor? We're all in danger. Let's get to Erlim. Oh no, chat. Eon in danger. This is Erlim? It's a flying tower, huh? I'm not sure about this. Can we take a look at it from outside? Eon. Andor just wants to be sure we are safe. So, can we take a look from outside? Well, Erlim, is that possible? Yes, but the footing is fragile, so please use caution. Sorry, I didn't mean to doubt you. That line delivery. The water spout, it's disappearing. Behind the clouds, look. It's the continent, Zephyr. <laughs> He's like, I'm the one to blame for all this. <laughs> I love the pauses. I don't know why they were there. According to Zorius. The Imperial Fortress is located on Saphir. We saved the continent, we'll also save the fortress. Sirius also believed the fortress could derive power from the floating energy. It would be too risky to enter the fortress now. First, we should head to the town of Geltania. It is said the wizardry doesn't go there. Then let's land at the town and try to find a way to infiltrate the fortress. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, I was thinking that we're going to go in the stronghold, so that's why I was thinking there's going to be another session. Who knows, maybe there's, there'll be another one after that. We still have yet to find a majority of the items, so we didn't get anything on the ship, for example, aside from Wisdom Cloak. But who knows, maybe I missed a shield somewhere. Where is this town located? It is in the middle of the desert on top of the continent. It's surrounded by a gate, but it is almost buried in the sand. Can we see it? We should get an image now. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know why they needed to reload that, but sure. The destination you've requested is confirmed. I am now taking you to Geltania. Good. Soon we'll have our revenge upon the Imperial Wizardry. Another load, okay.
We... Okay, let's go to the town of Geltania. This is Geltania. We finally arrived on the continent of Sephir. Thank you, everyone, for helping me get here. Don't thank us yet, Arcia. We still have a lot to do. That's right, the Imperial Wizardry's fortress is here. It won't be easy to defeat them. I'm a bit disappointed. Really expected to encounter a few soldiers right away. Yeah, how come this town isn't full of Imperial soldiers? Perhaps they're in the desert somewhere. Who knows, but don't let your guard down. We're sure to run into them sooner or later. You guys are making me nervous. Can it just be there's no more soldiers left? Let's be optimistic. Sorry, but I don't think we'll be that lucky. We must have our revenge for the despots and Slazer. Okay, let's go. So I'm assuming literally everybody we saw on the ship earlier is dead and we are the only characters that are left. What was that? Sounded like someone was whispering in my ear. Hmm. Eon, what's going on? Gandor and Laramie look a little strange. Boy, this is such a busy little town. Look at all those stores and restaurants. Let's go eat. What is he talking about? This place is desolate. Look at all the trees. It must be wonderful to live in such a place. Laramie, are you alright? I think you're dreaming. Look, there's my house. You're doing well. Laramie, where do you think you're going? It looks like RC is going crazy too. Look at all those precious lambs. I always wanted some sheep to take care of. Eon, I think you should play with the children. Wake up, Arcia! Is this some sort of trick? No, I think they're seeing an illusion. I think it must have happened to the soldiers, too. But what now? I wonder why we aren't being affected. I'm a spirit beast, that's why. Maybe your scepter is protecting you. Well, let's check out this town and maybe we'll find some help. Okay, so I can enter this building. I think I need new glasses. My eyes have been troubling me. Welcome to the apothecary. Can I help you? I don't know. What do you have? Sealed with revival powers? Oh no, do I have the ability to revive myself? Oh, it's 5,000 gems? Oh, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. How much grinding do you think I'm going to do for this? Quintet, please. <laughs> like, chat, we did extra fights and we are hilariously not even close to that. Wow. Okay. That is just actually BS. So, like, let me get this straight. If I went to the first area, I would have to get over... Okay, so if it was 200 gems to get, like, 12 consecutive fights in a row or so without being hit, divide that... Divide 5,000 by 200, chat. <laughs> like, I'm sure the gem count will go slightly up per dungeon, but that is just actually just BS. When I grow up, I want to be a pro wrestler. Yeah, whatever. You better wrestle those prices down. There's, those are nonsense. Not buying that. 
Anyway, we're not gonna go get an elixir unless we somehow come across a chest with like 2k in it. It's not happening. I only spent, okay, so we spent about 1500 in the shop and maybe another 500 on top of that. So if I literally spent nothing, I still don't think I would have 5k. I found Laramie by accident. Oops, we'll talk to her briefly. What's the matter? Cheer up, everything is peachy. Well, I'm glad she has a house she now lives in, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, that seems like a dungeon. Let's not go there yet. This feels like home. Candor, wake up, buddy. Okay, let's go in here. We'll try the center place and then we'll go into the side area. I'm getting concerned we've gone this far without a save. Why are you in such a hurry? If you act hastily, you'll make mistakes. Always wanted to have sheep. Be careful, you're standing on them. Welcome to our church. Oh, okay, restore HP. Okay, we found we found the save at least. We went a long time without a save, chat. Just keep that in mind. We have not saved since the beginning of the session. We did that entire dungeon without a save. Just uh, spooky, to say the least. So fortunately, nothing crashed or anything like that. Uh, so it seems like maybe I visited all the buildings. Oh, soldier. It's better to be a lover than a fighter. I'm just full of love. There you go, chat. What happens if we go up here? Anything? Nope. Well, let's go deal with the town, I guess. Spirit Shrine. Okay. I feel like any minute we're going to fight the Pharaoh and we're going to learn about our fate on the stone tablets. Wow, it's the great Karak. He's a legend in the spirit world. <laughs> um. <laughs> the head is so tall we can't see the top of it. Oh no, chat, it is the great pigeon. Quirky, what's going on? Don't be frightened. I am the spirit beast Karak. Think you may need my help. You must be concerned about the barrier. It was constructed by the spirits as protection against the Imperial Wizardry. It distorts the mind so it is filled with illusions, which eliminates aggression. Unfortunately, some forget they need to eat and take care of their health. You are not affected since you are the holder of the four orbs of the wise men. But many of these people are innocent victims. Yes, it's unfortunate. Their lives may be in danger. This is terrible. You have to lift the barrier. I wish I could, but only a wise man can break the spell. But wise man Lizelle has been captured by the Imperial Wizardry. But what if they die before I can save the continent? What can I do? Since you are the holder of the four orbs, there is a slim chance. You must imprint the crest of the four spirit kings onto a special stone tablet. This will prove you are worthy of their help. But in order to accomplish this, you have to get approval from the four spirit kings. Ah. This is how we extend the gameplay. Got it. Okay. I was thinking, you know, we were we were going to deal with the ship, which we did. And we just have to do the lifting verse, which might require us to do something with, uh, you know, the fortress. So it sounds like we're about to get four more dungeons. Okay, so we got a bit more to do. You have to infiltrate all four kingdoms. One is located on each of the continents. Yeah, there we go. Do you think you could do this? I have to. I can't I can't risk losing my friends. Then go and stand in front of the pedestal. This must be this Well, we teleported. This must be the sacred stone tablet. You attain the sacred stone tablet. Now you must attain the crest from each spirit king. First you must learn the magic spell of translating so you can read the spirit's message. And you must engage in fierce battles at each location. <laughs> you have four more bosses to go before the final boss. If you succeed, each kingdom will give you what you need. You can start by heading north to the desert. There you will find a hidden entrance to the underworld. Wait, the uh, wait, the underworld? What do you mean? Are you referring to the underside of the continent, or you mean I'm literally going to hell? 
Corky will help you. Prepare yourself for a supreme challenge. There we go, chat. Supreme. Hey, are you alright? Corky? Hmm, this will be quite a task. It sounds like this is our only hope. We have to get them back to their senses. But these places will have many monsters and demons. There's also a dragon which stands as the final guard for each kingdom. Oh no. Well, chat. Looks like we're gonna be fighting four dragons. Let's hope the underworld isn't nauseating this time, hopefully. You better prepare yourself. Hope this works. To save Saphir, Arcea must recite the lifting verse. I understand, let's go. Okay. Can I see the head of this thing? Why, why is it so hard to see the head of this creature? Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, I think I saw a beak there. Anyway, the, the great mighty pigeon has spoken. Oh, what's this? The impression of an axe. This is him, the sacred weapon of the spirit king. Scepter glows. You attain Gaia Edge. Serious voice echoes in your mind. You learn the Cyclop Chop. Or Cyclo it's not Cyclop. Cyclone Chop. Okay. Oh, so I did get a new weapon. Chat, I am so glad I just investigated the wall. I don't know about you. I was just expecting lore, not like an actual upgrade. Isn't Sam the Sacred Spirit King? Whatever. Justication? That's quite a name of a shield. Display special powers when used with sacred armor. I don't know what any of that means. It does make us do more damage, though, which might be worth it. So we were doing resist fire attacks, but we could get two extra damage in exchange for three defense. That might be worth it. Maybe you're supposed to do, like, these two together to get something? I don't really know. But we now have a new axe, which I'm assuming it wants me to use on the upcoming boss. I am so glad I decided to investigate that. I would not in a million years have thought that was an item. I thought it was just, like, a mural and we were gonna get more plot. So we got super, super lucky there. Um... I don't think there's anything else we could do. I guess I just fly. And indeed, we did pass by a monument, although it looks more like an obelisk, I guess. Time to return. I'm assuming this is how we go to the other place? Okay, it is. Before we do that, let, let's just save. I can also ask you for advice, just because. The kingdom of Earth Spirit consists of two towers built underground. <gasps> oh no, chat. Towers? It, it, okay, we're in an East game officially. <laughs> we crashed a ship, chat, and there's towers? It's definitely East. They're called the Mother and Father Towers. In the basement is the chamber of birth where they created the Baby Tower. Erlen. There you go, chat. Baby Tower. Let's save. I think we'll at least do this dungeon. I don't know how much further we'll go today. But at least we could say we got here. We should at least clear this. Finally, we have found my birthplace. Is this where you're created? Yes. This is one of the spirit kingdoms. Hmm, interesting. Come on, let's go check it out. The earth spirit rests here. The chosen one who holds the sacred stone tablet may enter and awaken them. Let's go to Papa Tower, chat. Eon, they're inviting us in. Come on, let's go. Father Tower. Okay. Uh... There's so many doors. Why are there so many doors? Oh, 
Oh, didn't see him until just slightly too late. That is so unfortunate. Oh. Uh, how am I supposed to deal with that? Wait a minute, that was kind of unfair. That's our new attack, by the way. It sucks. You gonna attack, or... You just gonna troll me? Hey, there we go. This new axe is not doing it for me, Chad. At least we got rid of his shield. Yeah, I'm just not gonna use the new axe. It's, it's just too slow with how aggressive they are, sadly. Maybe I switch to Flare Saber. Maybe that'll work more. We'll see what works. Oh, wow, that was a really fast unblockable attack. I am not gonna lie, I am really not liking these two enemy types at all. What is this? Like, if it, it's very easy to dodge too far. Which really sucks when that happens. Oh, come on. Man, I am just not getting any good hits on this character. I'm, I'm gonna have to heal or something. This sucks. Um, actually, question mark. You know what, if we die, I'm kind of okay with it. We didn't do much. Just kill me, actually. Just kill me. I think it's not even worth completing the fight, to be honest with you. We just saved. I'd rather not burn, like, five healing items here. So what's the penalty for continuing, exactly? Is there anything? Question. Oh, I have to go to continent to then see my menu. That's a bit weird. Did I actually lose anything? Oh, there's like no downside. It just zips me here. Then again, I did just save here. So anyway, I don't like that fight at all. Let's not do that fight until we get a better weapon because that was like absolutely trash. That axe is way too slow. So unfortunately, when the enemies were slower, it was fine. But now that they're actually really aggressive and they counter dodges by having wide spreads, that weapon really sucks. Yeah, it did, it did not feel good. So we need to, we need to find a sword or a dagger like ASAP, or we're not gonna get very far in this dungeon. Okay, chat, we're we're gonna play pick a path. <laughs> there are so many floors. I'm just gonna hold forward. Let's see what happens. We're still in Father Tower. I definitely do not want to fight anything until we get a new weapon. The new axe is kind of terrible. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, that was fortuitous. It's probably a spell. Oh, no, it's not. Where is it? Ancient Mystery Stone attained. Yeah, we, well, we found the translation spell, so that's there. Um... I really don't want to fight anything here if I can avoid it. I'm just looking for chests. I don't see chests for leaving. <laughs> right, chat? We're just like, nah. Hmm. So let's investigate. I don't think there was anything to the right. There's also multiple floors because it's a tower, of course. We're just looking for items. Hopefully, like, a sword, as I said before, would be really nice. So nothing's here. I definitely do not want to fight these things at all. Oh, no. Uh, well. What is that? I did not mean to press the heal button. I was trying to hit start, actually. Uh, so the axe is just way too slow. Um, let's see if they're weak against ice, maybe. I'm assuming that other thing damages me if I touch it. Well, that's just rude. Really? You just gave yourself invincibility? Come on. What a troll. 
Oh, can I not do a combo after I do a run attack? I guess I should just run into him then. Yeah, maybe I do have to run into him. Or else I can't combo. It hasn't been relevant until this point in the game. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I, I can only do a single attack after running. But it's definitely worth doing. I want to see if the other sword does more damage or not. Let's find out. Not really. Oh, I didn't get the run attack. See, that's the unfortunate thing. If I don't have enough distance, he doesn't do the little bash. I have to be like two backwards dashes away where it doesn't work. Like, see, I dashed forward there. It didn't work. That'll work, though. Oh. <gasps> Was so that was actually unlucky. That was unlucky. I I missed him by like a frame. Unlucky. Alright, so I accidentally healed, but that's fine. We'll continue going from here. Oh, we got a high potion. You know what? That evened out. We're fine. Uh, let's not heal right away in case there's a save point somewhere. So okay, so that battle ended up being worth it because of the high potion, since that will give us basically at least four heals worth of healing. So we're still up in healing, chat. It was definitely better to take the death. I don't regret taking the death. That fight was just BS. We were going to be there forever. Like, even though the pattern isn't crazy hard, the fact that he's got the try split on top of just moving way faster than the other one when the shield is gone is an awful combo. I don't see any items there. Nothing here. So there seems to be no point to these side rooms. So I'm just gonna go down a floor. What a troll. I'm absolutely not fighting these. Yeah, that was definitely a big difficulty jump and I did not appreciate that. And again, we're wearing like best possible armor and the best weapon is garbage, as you saw. Like just actual garbage. Oh, 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 did you see him jump down at me? That was cute. I'm glad I reacted to that. Goodbye. You. Alright, so we can't do anything in these, presumably. So are all these floors just a waste of time? Should I just go to the bottom? If, th if this one also doesn't lead anywhere... Oh... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Hold on. Is it one of those ones where we have to, like, reconfigure the dungeon? Oh, that would be so gross. They would do that, though. It is Quintet. We're still gonna verify as we go down, but I think our goal is to get to the bottom. Hopefully there's not too many floors. If it looks like everything is not connected, okay. We're just gonna we're gonna skip this floor. I'm assuming it's the same deal. Let's save a little bit of time here. Basement floor. There's a stone here. Something is written here. It's written in ancient symbols. Can't read these ancient hieroglyphics. I need the magic spell translating. I have it. Do I need to cast it here or something? Cost one MP. Deciphers ancient letters. Sure. It says, Visitor to this land, touch this with your hand. You touch the symbols. You're now recognized as Master of Erlen. Mmm. Mmm. Chat. Mmm. Oh no. Hey, what's wrong? You look dazed. Didn't you hear that strange sound? Snap out of it already. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Don't teleport. Nice, we found a safe crystal. I saved a little bit of healing there. 
Yeah, let's start with the second floor and work our way up. Again, if a fight seems too hard, I will definitely die on purpose. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and waste your time. If it's not going well, I'm, not, I'm leaving. I'm not bothering with wasting my items. Jeez. Oh, We're going to start here. We're going to go counterclockwise. Oh, they're not here. Oh, they disappeared here. Oh, that's way more convenient. Okay. Is there literally, like, no purpose to these side rooms? Like, are these just big troll rooms? I mean, if they only put the enemies in the corner, I'm fine with this. At least we don't have to fight them on the bridge, because that would be absolutely gross and horrendous if that was mandatory. Given that they have the tri-laser spread, meaning I don't think I could evade around them if I wanted to. So again, I'm not really sure how you would approach in those scenarios. Alright, I don't see any chests here. I'm not walking in the corners, whatever. What? <laughs> right, chat? I, I just don't believe there's anything in the corners at this rate. But there has to be something on this floor. Why else would we have access to it? Oh, there's a chest. There's a chest. What's it? Please be a weapon. Please be a weapon. Please be a weapon. Please be a weapon. Yes! Piece of metal obtained. Please, anything other than the axe. I beg of you. Arc blazer is restored. Learn how to use spinning blow. So, right to left and then attack. Uses and damage to enemies weak to lightning. Interesting. Okay, so we have the elemental sabers. Maybe we can figure out enemy weakness. I mean, as long as we aren't doing, like, literally a tenth of their health bar, I'll take it. Hmm. Uh, let's, we'll check out the East Room in case something's different here. Ruins B1 North. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So, before we do this, we're gonna go back to the third floor. That seems like progress. If nothing's on the third floor, we save our progress and then we come back to the second floor. Because we I have no idea how long it's going to take to go through this dungeon. But we'll try to complete it. And once we're done with the dungeon, I think we'll take a break. I'm assuming it's going to be at least another half hour. So we have to fight a boss and presumably there's going to be plot. Okay, nothing here. Ten, I have a big question for you. Why did you make this many rooms in the tower if there's nothing to do in them? <laughs> right, chat? Why? Quintet! So, so far, nothing on this floor. As I said before, presumably there's an item on one of these rooms. We're gonna check it out, and if we don't find it, we just go back and save, and then we go back to the second floor. We still have a ton of MP. I'm feeling okay there. Nothing here. Let's go like a little sneak peek in the other room. Just to make sure they didn't hide something in the corner. But if they hit it in the other corners, I'm not gonna find them. <laughs> Just I don't think I care. Hmm. nothing of interest.
Hmm. Alright, uh, well, I guess there is no point to that area. Guess we'll save. Let's save. I guess there's no point to the second floor. Let's go this way and see what happens. I'm curious if any side quests or things have opened up now that we're forced to go back. So I think what we're going to do is maybe we'll check out the towns at some point. Maybe, depending on how long this takes, we'll check them out first. Just to make sure we're not missing any side content. We know there's the old man with the cards, but we don't know how to get the cards. Um, it's possible something happened in, like, the water town since the cult was overthrown. And... I don't know if there's anything else. Maybe the first town has something new to do. Oh, who are you? Spirit King Servant says, No one is permitted beyond this door without passing the test. Pass the test, you must defeat the Earth Dragon. Okay. Once you enter, you can't leave. Are you prepared to fight the Earth Dragon? Okay. Then follow me to the Chamber of the Dragon. Cool. Chamber of the Earth Dragon. Oh, did I actually find the right way? Whoops, I was looking for items. Hello there. You're very small for a dragon. Also, what happened to your wings? They're so itty bitty. Your like spike back hump is bigger than your wing. Oh, you super armor, you super armor. Hmm, that's gonna be kind of annoying then. Can I outmaneuver him by doing this? Oh, we can, okay. Oh, he did the get off me button. Uh, he seems kind of exploitable, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's this looks like poison. Looks like he's also getting his ass whooped, literally. I mean, that get off me move doesn't hurt me, so I'm not really that threatened by him. Why is the Earth Dragon the easiest thing in this dungeon? <laughs> I have questions. I probably could have dodged the poison if I was being dumb. Like, this, this seems like a very easy fight. If all the dragons are like this, we'll be fine. Oh, he barely hit me. I thought it was out of range. That sucks. I mean, we could basically do an entire health bar as a punish. It's pretty brutal for the dragon. He did Earth Dragon. You found a source of power. LP's increased. Nice. I definitely appreciate more LP given this dungeon difficulty. But yeah, that, that was by far the easiest thing in this dungeon. I only got hit because I underestimated how far his swing was. And, uh, yeah, that was, that was a pretty easy fight otherwise. Passage to the Chamber of the Spirit King. It's not wordy enough, chat. I don't know if I'm even going to bother healing yet. Is this the Chamber of the Spirit King? Oh, oh, I feel strange. Quirky, what's happening? Earth Spirit King, the Chosen One has arrived. Please reveal to him the truth so you may understand his role. Spirit King Servant says, You have come to this land with the help of the spirits. You have defeated the dragon. You may enter. 
Okay. Oh no, chat. Elves. Servant of the Earth Spirit, this is the sacred pedestal. Do you have the tablet? Come here and imprint the crest upon it. Okay. Is there anything else to do in this room? Not really. The pedestal emits a beautiful yellow glow. Do I have to like literally use the tablet? Okay. The light envelops the tablet. The rest is imprinted onto the stone tablet. Okay. Spirit King's sermon says, You are the chosen one. Listen carefully. Message of the Spirit King. In this world, the humans have become merely pawns. Oh no, chat. We're going off what the other guy said, Slazer. The spirits try to make them seem, see how important the preservation of nature is. But the evil spirits led by Ma'o, Ma'o, that's a phrase. Also, please stop rotating the camera. Encourage them to be selfish and greedy. Some humans follow one influence and some follow the other. It often seems that Ma'o will be victorious in his attempts to cause the end of the world. Then he shall be able to take the fallen souls and make himself more powerful. I'm like looking at chat while trying not to focus on the rotating camera. The spirits seem to have their best influence on children. But as humans grow older, the temptations of Ma'o become too great for them. The spirits are losing, and the humans are losing as well, though they don't realize it. There may still be a chance to save this world, but as long as Ma'o exists, we'll always be in danger. It seems useless to hope that humans will realize what is happening to their children, to their planet, and to their souls. Think about this as you continue your quest. Okay, good, the camera stopped spinning. Okay. Well, what was the point of this? Uh, okay. Servant to the Earth Spirit says, My mission is complete. Please save this land from the danger that threatens it. Now behold this powers which the Earth Spirits possess. As in Mal, like Japanese for Satan, the Lord of Darkness? Maybe. They probably had to censor it slightly, if I had to guess. <laughs> Classic North American censorship. Look out, chat. We're gonna fight Dark Gaia. Alright, well, let's just exit. I'm assuming I can't just warp out of here. Because we didn't quite do what it wanted us to do yet. So let's proceed, I guess, for now. Chamber of Birth. Oh. Alright, so I have a feeling we were blocked from teleporting, given that this is a cutscene. But I don't feel like testing it. You hear a mysterious voice. This is where Erlem was created. The effort of restoring the continents is draining his power. As his master, you could restore his power by releasing the souls that are buried here. Yes, we're gonna feed the fortress more souls. Clearly, we are the good guys here. Let's give him more souls, chat. Check the three pillars. Um. Sure. Ancient script is written on the pillar. The power of heirloom lies within. Okay. Spirit derives its energy from the earth and all of its inhabitants. When you hear the cries of their souls, they're waiting to help you. Hmm. Scepter glows. Scepter captures the power of the spirits. The images of a thousand souls race through your mind, then disappear. <laughs> they're my souls now. The souls have found their purpose. Apparently. Wind connects soul to soul. Water nurses their rapid growth. Fire keeps them warm. You heard it, chat. More fire. Needs more fire. Earth is where they come to rest. Unless you're Mia and Phoenix Wright, then you never rest. The Tower of Heirloom has created, 
created by the souls of many spirits. Its magic was attained through great sacrifice. It must never be allowed to fall into enemy hands. Okay. The power of heirloom is renewed. Now go and visit the other lands with heirloom. I mean, did it ever feel like heirloom was dying at any point? I don't think so. I could teleport out of here. Uh, I should just walk out of here. This is like the only game where I don't want to quick travel because it consumes MP and MP is really annoying to restore. I just don't feel like using resources. I do. I think I might have a flappy wing to potentially go back. But at this point, we're already here, so I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to commit to the walk. Um... I should probably heal at some point. So I guess what we should do, Chad. That dungeon did not take anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to take. So maybe we'll do them in like the starting continent going forward order, maybe? Yeah, unfortunately, we did lose a gold piece at some point. Unfortunate. Okay, so we can't do anything here. Let's just go back to the beginning. here ruins of the wind spirits does anything happen if we go back here i guess we still have yet to find a single card which is kind of funny to me <laughs> big oops on that one right chat oops Anything new with the curio shop, for example? Nope. Hello, Roddy, that we forgot about. No, not really any interesting dialogue either. Wow, this town kind of sucks. feel like there's any side quests here. I mean, I'm still gonna check out the other towns, just in case. So apparently I could just straight up buy a life element, which is 1500. That's absurd. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, we're not gonna buy healing items. I think we're still good. Whatever. Axe is not that good. I I think we went a really long time. Axe should have gotten a double strike by now. If Axe had double strike, a lot of its problems would be gone. I don't even need a triple swing. It's legitimately double strike. Okay, we'll save here. I'm not seeing any new dialogue so far, so I'm not reading what we're seeing. Other than Ray is apparently marrying the woman in the church. I guess, for those that care about the NPCs. Yeah, otherwise they're still giving tutorial hints. Now, this town was kind of disappointing. Not a single person really updated their dialogue at all, despite us leaving the continent completely. 
Huh. Oh well, I mean, I guess we'll proceed further. I'm slightly injured, but... Unfortunately, I don't have a way to heal myself unless we go to another dungeon. Like how the game will not let me get rid of things for gems. I get rid of the fishing equipment, which was pretty useless. I guess if I had traded in the fishing equipment, I could have had enough gems for that 5,000. Not that I think it's worth it. Um... So I have a feeling we probably got by one of the better money-making areas in the game, given how good the mimics were in the other place. Oh well. Rip the ship. Uh, let's go visit Father's house, just to see if anything updated here. I kind of doubt it, but maybe we could use the bed to sleep. And I guess we'll do another dungeon. Again, this- th I thought the dungeon was gonna be much longer, given it was a tower. I was expecting like an hour plus long ordeal, but it was like maybe 40 minutes, half hour. That was not that bad. So we can do at least one more place. casually go to sleep here real quick. Oops, I accidentally talked to the bookcase, which gives me like a million things. Oh well. Oh, so nothing else to do here, but at least we're at full health. So I guess we'll do the wind dungeon. I'm just gonna double check. There's no BS hidden doors, okay? So far, we're just going in. Oh, hold on. I didn't read the hint. Five gilded rings. Not quite as catchy as seven rings in hand, chat. Inside each are the scenes of grassy pastures, tranquil seas, cloudless skies, Dancing flames and shining sun. Are you giving me a color puzzle? Okay. Let me save real quick before we go further. We can. So grassy pastures, tranquil sea, cloudless skies, dancing flame whatever the last one is. Uh, so we have red, blue, green. Hmm. Purple, purple is not one of the colors that we mentioned, so we can ignore that. So the order should be See, I always get confu confused with Scion. Is Scion dark or light blue? I always forget, chat. Can someone just tell me? <laughs> it's not like, this is not rocket science here. I think the order I want to go in is green, blue, Scion. It's light blue, okay. I, I forgot, oh, what? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, at least they're super easy to kill now. Okay. Wow, he could kill me in two swings? That's insane. That That is insanely too much damage. Thank you, John. I always forget. That happened in Shadow Hearts. Th some things never change, John. Okay, we disarmed him. That means I could go full bully on him. Why is he able to punish my three-hit combo? That's so unfair. I think we can all agree, Chad. I should not be- I should not be punishable on hit. Like, that's insane. 
Like, that is actually bonkers how unfair that is. So every single one of these is going to force me into a fight, I think. What is this? Oh, I thought it was out of range. dodge one more time I would have been fine unfortunate the lingering effect of those wind scythes is so evil <laughs> I had to re-block one like almost five seconds after it was cast and another high potion at least we're going very item positive here so set unclouded skies I believe was the next hint we're now testing my memory by making me fight in between, which is very rude, I would like to state. Alright, so we're gonna go to Unclouded Skies. And it mentioned Dancing Flame, and I'm assuming Yellow is last, so I think I know the order at least. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, if you get that early sidestep with the new weapon, it is quite easy. Got a white crystal for healing. Okay. All right, so don't go to yellow. Ooh, I'd love to get this in one try, chat. I'll be so happy. So yeah, if we can sidestep them with our new super weapon, they're pretty easy. Like, this, this guy is so done. There we go. That is a clean fight. I think we could agree. That was ultra clean. More healing items. Yeah, now that our now that our axe isn't slowing us down and we're not doing like literally like a sixth of their health bar, we could kill these pretty quickly. Okay. Hmm. Don't like him back. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, I got punished for single striking. Well, I have no reason to not be aggressive here. All right, so we did manage to get bonus MP. So overall, this has been a really good set of fights. Please tell me that's it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I did the Shadow Hearts color puzzle where we did like all colors of the rainbow. I'm so ready for you. Timber of the Wind Dragon, sure. Again, these dungeons are very small. Hmm, I guess we could try to do one more. Okay, same one as before. You can see past him now, he says. I don't really care. Oh no, he's awake! Oh, oh, yeah, and I think we're in trouble. Not in trouble, this fight was like easy as balls. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's... You're, you're like hawking loogies at me. Wait a minute, you're not doing the poison breath. That's actually annoying. Wait, hold on. This fight just became way more annoying. Where's... Where's the punishable move? Oh, that's not good. Did you lose your punishable move? Hi. Screw this. Are we seriously out of range? Game, please. Uh, that did not do a good amount of damage. Let's try Fire Shot. He seriously can re- <gasps> Any heals? Oh my gosh, what? Wait a minute. 
<laughs> this is horrible. Oh no. What am I, how am I supposed to deal with this boss? Wait a minute. So he is super armor, near instantaneous projectiles. Holy, faster range and attack than me? What is this BS? Uh, maybe I do have to use the axe here. Cause I'm only gonna get like a single hit here. Why is it like near instant? Okay, we're we're behind him, so I get to play the game briefly. But as long as we get really close, we get one strike on him, and that's it. We do not bother hitting more than once here, or we're gonna die. We're absolutely gonna die if we multi-strike here. Did I get healed or something? Holy. Well, the axe is gonna put in the work here, chat, because we are not comboing on this boss. Okay. Oh, he's in the corner. That's actually really bad for us. We need him to come out of the corner. Yeah, it's that attack that's annoying. The other attacks I can at least, like, react to visually. I don't even know if the other one even has an animation other than it just hits you. That's fine. That's less fun. Okay, so this axe does heal us at least. Is there a reason it's healing us? Right, Chad, I, I don't... Display special powers when used with sacred armor. I bet I'm not using sacred armor. So is it the shield? I don't understand. I don't understand what's healing us. That's fine. I'm assuming some combination of the weapon and our stuff is healing us. So that thing healing us makes the axe slightly less terrible. We defeated the wind dragon. So that's good to know at least. That, that makes the axe much more viable in my mind. Spirit of the wind, behold, the one who holds our destiny has appeared. Give him strength to face evil spirits and rescue us all. Spirit King Servant says, the boy who has the scepter is the one. He has come once again to fulfill the prophecy. The spirit of the wind shall give him guidance. Okay. Here is the pedestal. Do you have the stone tablet? Go to the pedestal and receive the imprint of the seal. Alright, so fortunately the axe healed us. It was only useful because the enemy is too slow to rotate. Otherwise, I'm not using it in any other fight. But I'm not really sure why it can heal us, but we'll take it. That also brings its usefulness up to a different level. Spirit King Servant says, here is a message for you from the Spirit King. Oh, not the rotating again. Please stop. It makes me feel kind of nauseous. I'm not going to lie. Who is the ruler of the spirits? He has many names, but many people call him Ma'o. His evil soul matches the ferocity of dragons and the power of giants. Once he declared himself ruler of the world, leading a heinous army of beasts and demons, he started a ruthless war. Whole continents were depopulated and the ground ran red with blood, divided all intelligent races except the humans. Into four different groups, he sealed them into different dimensions. But we, the spirits, escaped to a peaceful place. He kept a friendly relationship with the humans. Alas, the Ma'o has returned to punish the humans once again. Okay. My duty is now fulfilled. I can return to my resting place. May the blessing of the wind spirits be with you. Hmm. The building shakes. A strange metal piece appears. You pick it up. The arrow force is restored? You have attained the arrow force. What's the arrow force? 
most balanced attack ability Ooh. so we know the soldiers are weak to lightning but this one just straight up has almost as much attack power as the axe so it feels like we're getting pretty close to the end of the game chat can we agree there's only four slots left feels like we're getting pretty close I'm just going to double check there's nothing we have to do in here by leaving because we I don't think we freed the spirits, quote unquote. Uh, so we burned a little bit of MP, but we have a hilarious amount to beat the game. So we tried using spells, but they didn't seem super effective against the dragon. So we'll just stick to using them for healing. Uh, I'll save here first. I'm going to check one more thing in town just to see if we make a comment on it and then we'll move on. So again, these dungeons are much smaller than I thought, so we'll do maybe one more. I'm just curious if we're going to make any comments on the mushrooms or the box we came back in now. So we'll try this place first. Oh, can't interact with it. Okay. You feel with mushrooms, you hate mushrooms, you quickly close the lid. You can't be so picky. It will make you strong. I'm going to win your fights. You must eat. Mushrooms are good for you. But I hate mushrooms. They taste terrible. Oh, this actually did result in new dialogue. But why only the barrel is the question. Be quiet and eat these mushrooms now. You pick up a mushroom. Oh my goodness, you passed out! Oof. You must really hate them. I'm sorry. And then we die. Alright, so we learned about the- Oh, so now that we learned about the wedding, now the kid's saying something different. Okay. Um, I heard that Fury is getting married. That makes me sad. Eon, would you like to stay here for tonight? Sure. Okay. So I guess learning about the two getting married in the church was actually relevant for unlocking dialogue. Good to know. I don't know if the mushroom was related to anything, but, you know, that's fine. My son is very sad because Fury is going to get married. Is it too much to ask you to stay with him tonight? Why do you say that while shouting? <laughs> A new day. The wedding has started. I better get going. Okay. Well. Let's go witness the marriage, I guess, of the two characters we barely talked to. We talked to Fury a little bit. She was the one that kept singing in the corner at the beginning of the game, I think. Roddy says, Ray's late. Ray's in here yet. Eon, have you heard anything? He's looking for Valos. Oof. Here is wedding is planned today. Where is Ray? Ray's not here yet. Maybe something has happened to him. Um, okay. That sounds like we have something to do. Um, he's looking for Valos. I'm assuming he's at one of the shrine entrances if he's not in town. Let's go check there real quick. I mean, we'll check we'll check literally Valos's house after this, but I think he knows Valos is not there, I think, maybe. Not entirely sure. So we'll do a quick peek. If he's not here, we'll go to the other house. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ray, are you alright? I'm glad I found you. Eon, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, but I just got so nervous. You got so nervous you climbed an entire mountain? What? It's such a huge change, getting married. I know it's a little scary, but you love Furia, right? She loves you too. Let's go back to town. Everyone is waiting. And then we poof back to town, question mark?
Oh, Furia getting her portrait again. Thank you so much for finding Ray. I'm very grateful to you, Eon. What about the wedding? We are postponing the wedding. Until we are both ready. Hope you will join us. Oh. Through the, through the door you hear the music of the ocarina flute? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Um, do you have anything to say? I'm so glad that Ray was found. When I was gone, everyone worried. I would never do that again. Talk to the tavern guy. Do we not get anything for doing this? Hello, Eon. Have you saved that young girl yet? Well, I mean, I guess we saved Ray? Question mark. I guess it was worth it? Question mark. Does the priest say anything? You brought right back. Well done. How was Arcea? Well. Oh well, chant. <laughs> so, I guess if you really cared about Furia's marriage, question mark, we sort of saved it? I guess? I would have preferred leveling up. That would have been a nice thing. We level up as a person, Chan. But, uh, nope. No, we didn't get anything for it. Oh, well. Well, uh, bye. I'm not really planning to go back to Shul for any reason. Aquas potentially is at least one quest we could go back to. As I said before, we still have yet to get a single card in this game. Uh, Icy Corridor? It's... What? What was Icy Corridor? I remember the, the Hell Cave. Icy Corridor. Huh. We'll check that out in a little bit, I think. Just so I can remember what it was. Give me a second. Okay. Oops. That's not how you get into the town. Let's see if anything else has changed here. Like, what are they doing after the rebel leader person died? Touch the fire, of course. Oh, ouch! You're not supposed to be playing with fire. Okay, so he says, since you've been gone, things have been a little scary. But a religion gives us guidance to live our lives by and helps us make decisions. Okay, so he's saying he's sorry for taking us to the sermon. Cool. Welcome to the pawn shop. We can never give up the youth troop emblem. It's with us forever, chat. It's too important. Door is locked. Found it's been saved. Now we can live with hope. Can you though? <laughs> right, chat? Can you? Hmm. Door is locked. Door is still locked. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, we'll just keep exploring for now. I don't think there's anything new so far. Tristan's making me hot. I wish I didn't have to wear it. I think that was slightly new. Can we go back into the tower? This is the guard tower, yada yada.
Hmm. That part we can't really do anything. I can't reclimb the ladder, so nothing new is happening here. Nothing seems to be doable here so far. I guess I could revisit the other colony, or not whatever, whatever it was called. The uh, the cult, I mean, to see if uh, anything has changed in there. They did talk about potentially, you know, switching back to the other religion. I'm not sure if people are still hanging out there or not from the cult. Um. If I need gems, I guess I guess I could always exchange it since he's still there. But so far I'm not seeing anything new to do here, which is a bit disappointing. Okay, so they're just saying people are being more optimistic and hopeful that they're not going to die because we saved them. Okay, are there any are there any new store people in here? Because it was empty last time. Oh the curio shop owner's back and then he doesn't have anything. That's a waste. What a jerk, Chad. Someone has stolen something from my medicinal barrels. Who could do such a thing? Oops, I'm sorry. Welcome to the apothecary. Holds magic. Ooh. For a thousand gems? Sure, we'll take it. Sacred Stone lights up if you hear a mysterious chant. You learn this magic spell of Frost Arrow. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Where did it go, Ian? Did you find Toman? I see. Lately, he kept talking about working hard for Levante. Okay, that sounds like potential progress. Let's save. Honestly, I kind of thought Toman was dead because we didn't, we didn't really do too much with him. That's fine. Like, I guess Toman lived from the Great Purge earlier. Let's see if anything's happening in here. Oh, Eon. Afto, are you up and around now? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Sorry I gave you so much trouble. My mother is better too. Shall me get well. Come with me and we'll see her. <laughs> she turns it like some monstrous lich. Mother, look. He's returned to our town. Oh, he's here. Yeah, I better thank him. Where is he now? He's here in the house. He's waiting for you in the other room. This, that's no good. He's an important guest. Now go bring him in here. Yeah. Oh, there you are. I was just going to get you. Sorry for keeping you waiting. That's better, Afto. Hello, Eon. Thank you for everything. Okay. Can't believe you're really here. Afto, why don't you go to your room? Well, okay. Hmm. Afto has regained his health and the town is back to normal. Thanks. If you'd like, why don't you stay here tonight? Eh? What? Yeah, and you better get things straightened out. Hurry and close your eyes. 
You slowly close your eyes. Wait, what? I'm... Eon? What? What happened? Your eyes were closed. What? what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Was was something happening there? What did did the translators not want to translate something that didn't make any sense? Why don't you stay the night? Eon, get yourself sorted. Close your eyes. You close your eyes. Why are you closing your eyes? Um Uh Did did something happen in the other version of the game? That scene did not make any sense. Anyway, why don't you stay and keep Afto some company? Well, cl clearly we've lost our minds. I don't... Okay. Afto was overjoyed to see Eon again and stayed up late. When they were tired of talking, they finally fell asleep. The townspeople have been reunited and are now content. You've recovered faster and better than we expected. I'm so grateful. One second. I love you so much, and you're such a wonderful son. But you do not deserve such a sinful mother. <laughs> you are like your father. I must leave you. <laughs> what? <laughs> that escalated real quick. After it's like, yay, I finally have my mom. Bye, son. You remind me too much of father. <laughs> okay. Mother? After? Don't leave me. There's definitely plot happenings here. That was probably the most nonsensical series of events. You are a strong boy. I'm so sorry. I, th I think the mind control might have messed her up a little bit. Oh no, my mother's left. <laughs> wait, wait, she did actually leave? Hasn't she been there for like canonically several days? No, she will return one day. Will she? <laughs> will she though? I, I I don't think so. She loves you very much, but this thing is very important to her. I guess I better get some sleep. Yes, yeah, sleep tight. Wow, he 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 was real accepted of that chat. Oh, mother's gone. Bye. She had a weird blink off with uh. Eon, and she just decided to call it quits. We broke her spirit and mental state, apparently. Well, let's talk to Afto. We ruined your life. Look what I brought for you. So I gave you so much trouble. I wanted to find something special to give you. Afto showed you a sacred or ancient sacred stone. It puts it in your hands. The scepter begins to glow. The sacred stone. A uh, stone glows, and a mysterious chanting echoes through your head. You've learned the magic spell of Blizzard. Okay. By the way, did you hear that a man named Toman is missing? He looked everywhere. They're getting worried. I was hoping you could help. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Not the Lona Misa chat. Oh. Just instantly went back through the door. Um, is there anybody else I haven't talked to? Uh, let's go to the secret cavern of the Kells or whatever the heck it was that they called like heretic cave at one point we'll go there first then I want to see what icy corridor is about before we do the other place we might hold on the dungeon for now we'll see depends on how long this side quest takes oh now we're back at heresy cave okay it's still called heresy cave religious colony Hmm. 
Nothing really is different in here. Let's save if I want to. Oh, there's somebody here now. I have a collection of ancient weaponry. Some rather unique items. Sometimes I make trades for bars of precious metals. Gold is the most valuable, then silver, then bronze. Would you like to see what I have? Oh, did we find a secret merchant? This is a redstone. I believe it comes from a magic transmitter that was used long ago. Would you like to hold it? Yes. You should pay me some bars of precious metal. Is that acceptable? Choose the redstone. You're gonna hear a mysterious chant. Learn the magic spell of scanning. You found something interesting in my collection. If you'd like, you can stop by again later. Okay. Oh, is this the thing I was complaining about where we can finally see mimics? Oh, okay. So apparently, we could have had that for a while. I'm assuming he showed up after we were done with Aquas. So, oops. Bluestone, we'll hold it. Paint with metal, you pick up the bluestone. I mean, we're gonna keep going. Then the magic spell of Defensor. Okay, let's see what that does. Disables enemy attacks for 10 seconds. Interesting. Avalanche attack with Blizzard sounds cool. Do you sell anything other than spells? It's Yellowstone. I have the insufficient amount. Okay, how many items did he take from me? Oh, he took basically all of them. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we could try to convert our gems into that if we need to. I could also sell some of my healing items. Could be worth it. I wonder if at some point I should try to do battles in the basic area to see if the different scepter forces eventually give me the right thing, just to get a card to see what happens with the other guy. Contemplating on that. But then again, we might have to get all of them. So I'm thinking what the deal is, is for like... Red... What was it? Yellow, orange, rainbow, dark, or whatever it was. Maybe each of those gives you a card. But if you could get them anywhere, we could just go back to the beginning dungeon. But I don't know if that's really even worth showing off. I think at the moment, what I'm going to do... I'm going to see if I can buy some... Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I just remembered. I mean, I could buy them in Pixum, I guess, technically. But I think what we should do... Why don't we go back to... Zephyr for now. I'm going to see if I can purchase gold with whatever we have to see if we could get anything interesting. The downside, though, is I have a feeling we need a very large amount of them because the game expects you to grind, but we can at least burn our money this way. I mean, we're at the end of the game, and if I don't really need healing, maybe I could get something interesting from this. It's possible there could be, like, armor and weapons in here, which would make our life much easier. I doubt any special attacks we gain from it would be useful, given how bad they've been. I think this was the place with the merchant, right? I think you had a gold bar. You did. Alright, so we're gonna burn basically all of our cash. We have a lot of healing items as is up before. We can barter them away if we really need the gems for plot reasons. Let's see how much we could get with just what we have here. And keep in mind, we do get assorted gems for perfect victories and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll probably get up to like 500 or so eventually.
Okay. So let's go to this person again. Oops. Why is it not letting me go to the other place? Do I have to re-angle it? There we go. I got to re-angle. So let's let's get done with the merchant and then maybe we'll check out the icy corridor. If it looks like a dungeon, I don't want to go fully into it. I'm unfortunately getting some messages from family, so I might need to take a break sooner than expected. But let's at least do some purchases here. And then I'll figure out what the deal is with that. Alright, so we had enough to pay there. Learn Thunder Blast. Thick metal piece, probably a shield. Okay, right, so we got a shield out of this. Mobius shield. But we don't have enough for the armor. Oh, that's disappointing. That is so disappointing. Wow, that consumed a lot of gold pieces. So I think we purchased nine and we were reduced to two. So that is very expensive. We got a new shield. Decreases damage from magic attacks. The shield kind of sucks. I mean, I guess I could have had it earlier, but it wouldn't have been like... It still would have been worse than Mercury. Oh, that's disappointing. Like, we had Iron Shield when we left this area. I don't think we had Mercury necessarily, but like... I would have still... I mean, I guess if it decreases, like, magic damage, maybe it's worth it when fighting spellcasters, but I don't know. That seems very disappointing. So anyway, we'll continue to feed him some items. Okay, so we'll briefly check out Icy Corridor. And we'll proceed. So we're going to be on the lookout for more ways to get gems. As I said before, technically, if I really want to unlock everything there just to see what it is, I could go and grind the literal starting area of the game and get the Scepter Force. Because if we get things like the healing items, they do barter for an okay amount of gems. On top of just getting gems in general. It's just very slow. Oh, this is Icy Corridor. Okay. Um, the prison itself. I, I forgot the prison itself was called Icy Corridor. Earth Stratum. Oh, what are you doing here? Someone was locked up in, up in here with us, but I haven't seen him lately. Don't see anything. Oh no, can we get more obsidian or whatever it's called? Never enough obsidian chat. We just don't see anything. Hmm. Oops. Someone was taking up the northwest side. Maybe you'll find something. Seriously. Found a ring buried in the wall. You've attained Toman's wedding ring. Wow, that was really, really specific. I got like all sorts of dialogues rubbing against the wall there. Interesting. Um. I guess we'll tell him about it. I don't really know what to do with the ring. That is Toman's ring. Must have fallen off while he was digging. Please return it to his wife. Hmm.
So unfortunately, we did lose one gold piece because I didn't have the fake treasure from earlier. I could technically try to fight enough stuff to make up for that earlier. But I don't think it really matters. So is he, like, actually dead? Like, I I'm not sure what's going on here. So... So she was still mentioning Levante. We never found him, as I said before, I thought. So is it just presumed he died? Question mark? What do you have to say about this? You found my husband's ring. Yes, this was our wedding ring. You found it in the icy corridor? Yes, I found it buried in the wall. I see. I wonder where he is. This ring will help me remember him. If he is dead, thank you for bringing it to me. Here's a reward. She gives you a bar of gold. Thanks a lot. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess we never find him. <laughs> There's your reward, chat. Give this hand over the ring. It's there. So sadly, chat, I do gotta go a slightly earlier than I was expecting. So let's have a quick chat. So what do you think about the game so far? Chat can put their opinion so far. I think we ended up doing a lot of stuff on the airship, which was about to expectations to today's stream. I thought that was going to take up a significant, significant amount of time. We did a lot of mini dungeons. So we did the shelf dungeon, we did the, the actual airship, and we did the towers today. It does seem like there are some side quests kind of scattered throughout, and now there's like a reason to potentially grind for money. I don't know how much of it is even worth it. I kind of doubt any of it is worth it. But hey, at least we could say we saw more content. So I'm not completely skipping everything, but I'm sure I've missed some things here and there for sure. So we'll, we'll see what we can get in terms of item upgrades and stuff like that. I'm imagining one of these upcoming dungeons is going to give us good armor. So it's probably going to completely invalidate what you can get from the secret merchant since we're just probably going to get like the we got a sword, we'll probably get a shield, we'll probably get an armor kind of deal. I'm also happy we went wind dungeon first because that sword was actually super useful uh, just because it overall damage will let me go back and go to other areas more easily. But the obvious is not as bad as Teradigma, yeah. So I think we'll pause here for now. We have potentially a lot of more ruins to explore and potentially several additional bosses. Uh, to go through. But I think from that standpoint, we'll take a look at maybe what else to expect in the game next time. So once we're done with the ruins, we'll probably do the fortress and maybe there's going to be like we accidentally unleashed Mal Malo or whatever as another new tro true final boss. So we're looking at potentially two additional sessions on top of this instead of just one. And who knows? We'll see where we go. I will say, though, we started catching up on the number of equipment pieces we were missing, as well as spells. So maybe some of it is locked behind the cards that we didn't go through, which is to be expected. Um, but I think other than that, we can make a decision whether we even want to see the stuff with the cards or not. Right now, I'm not in a... I'm not in a rush to get them if I really want them. I think it would just be really boring farming in Kilia Shrine to be honest with you rather than do it in the harder areas. I technically could have been doing it throughout the game but some of those enemies are just really awful to deal with without getting tagged at least once. Like imagine trying to go through 12 victories in a row in like the last two dungeons without getting a hit. That just seems like really awful. I don't feel like doing that. So anyway chat uh, we'll take a break here. So we'll say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.